Welcome to Globe Watch with me, Charles Buni Ed from the Hilton Hotel here in Yaoundé. At least 1.8 billion Muslims do exist in the world, emanating from roughly 50 Arab countries. BERT, the Islamic Solidarity Games, managed by the Islamic Federation for Sports, it's one of the key events which goes beyond the borders of the Arab world because there are at least 57 countries taking part in the Islamic Solidarity Games. The next edition will be taking place in Turkey and by 2025, Cameroon is projected to host the next Islamic Solidarity Games. How unique are they alongside the Commonwealth, La Francophonie and those organized by the International Committee of Olympics. My guest today on Globe Watch is the Secretary General of the Islamic Solidarity Games. <music> Saudi born Mohammed Saleh Ar Ganaz, thank you and welcome to Globe Watch. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for the Cameroon National TV for this meeting. I'm very glad. We are very happy. Uh, Cameroon is uh, one of the active members of the Islamic Cooperation uh, Organization uh, stationed in Jeddah. And uh, they are a very active member of the Islamic uh, Solidarity Sports Federation. The first ever Islamic Solidarity Games were held in 2005. Just provide me some context into how the games started. Mm. First, uh, the Islamic uh, Solidarity Sports Federation was established in 1985. Uh, by uh, late uh, President, uh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Fahad. He was uh, president for many years at that time, and he was very keen to get all the sportsmen in, in, in one uh, unit, and that's the Sports Federation. So from that time, we try very hard to start the ISG, which is the Islamic Games. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it un until 2005. And that's where it was held in, in the holy city of Mecca, uh, Medina, Jeddah, and Taif. That is in Saudi Arabia. That's in Saudi Arabia. And that was the first time where more than 3,000 uh, sportsmen from 57 countries who participated in this uh, event. And from that time until now, we uh, finish almost five uh, games for the Islamic Games. The second one was in Balambang, Indonesia. Third one, or the fourth one, was in Azerbaijan, in Baku. 2017. Last one is going to be held in August this year in Konya, Turkey. So we are looking forward for the participation of the Cameroonian team, inshallah, in these games. Okay, um, like you indicated, this is a process which has gone on over the years. Um, you have the Commonwealth Games, you have the La Francophonie Games, all these are sister sports movement and associations uh, with the aim of bringing people together. What are the key objectives of the Islamic Solidarity Games? Actually, the, the Islamic uh, Solidarity Games are one of the biggest in the world, one of the biggest events. In terms of the number of participants, in terms of the, the countries who's participating, uh, there is maybe it's the biggest after the Olympic Games because you are talking about 57 countries who are participating. Now we reach almost more than 6,000 participants in each game. So that's w the glamour of the game, of the Islamic game. As a matter of fact, uh, the game is not only for Muslim. 
the, the game is for the country who has a Muslim, but the, all the religion, and this is one of the aim and the function of the federation is to have participated uh, sportsmen from all kind of religion and gender and sex and whatsoever. We have no discrimination whatsoever. This is an international body federation and we are looking forward to have all sportsmen from all Muslim or Islamic countries to participate in this game. You just said that it's probably the second largest um, sporting uh, episode in the world after the um, Olympic Games uh, yes. in terms of collective sports and mm -hmm. um, uh, involved apart from football, which is a single organization. Um, tell me, how is it organized? Well, uh, we usually start early for any games which is going to be conducted in any country of the member states of the Islamic uh, cooperation. And uh, as you know, we are planning from now to organize the sixth game in Cameroon in 2025. So we're talking about almost four to five years from now. That's uh, take a lot of efforts. And we started with the games with the inspection committee who is visiting all the facilities, all the infrastructures, all the um, uh, things that will help. The logistics. The lo uh, logistic uh, the roads, bodies in, the, in any country, the like, like the, the hotels, the hospitals, the, uh, the sports facilities, the beaches, the stadiums, what anything that will help for the successful of the game when we try to collect all these together then we will have our final reports which, which will have to be approved by the executive board and the general assembly of the federation then we will announce the countries who is hosting this game okay. hopefully Cameroon inshallah when from our visit I think uh, they are doing a great job. Uh, the Olympic Committee here, led by Mr. Hamad Kalkaba, and he's the vice president of the senior vice president of our federation. And he's doing a magnificent job, a great job uh, for our mission to be accomplished. And we have visited all the beaches, the sport halls and hospitals and the uh, hotels and all the logistic the next immediate games will be taking place in turkey um how many sporting disciplines are involved in mm. the islamic solidarity games you know so far now we have 26 games mm. with the paralympic games mm. and the uh, you know that uh, Basketball, we, we, football Yeah, well um, this is include all the collective sports like football, volleyball, handball, basketball and the individuals like the swimming pools, the table tennis uh, Athletics the, Yeah, all the uh, and athletics of course is one of the major events in, 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 in our games mm. and uh, with, with all these games uh, we have a final meeting with the organizing committee in Turkey. Then after we review all the participants and the countries and uh, how many in sports and if are they, the sport, any sports have to meet with the international federation regulations. If we have find that this sport is completed all the conditions, then will be enrolled in, in, in the games. Otherwise, it will be disqualified uh, and then uh, the, the sport will be immediately taken out from the games. Oh. But, uh, but uh, so far, I think, uh, you know, uh, the, the Asian game was delayed for one year. Mm. 
from, uh, it was going to be in September this year. Because of COVID? Because of COVID. Uh, and that makes it easier for us uh, for, uh, to have more participants in our games because of the delay of the, the Asian mm -hmm. Games. And that helps us now. And even now we have requests from many countries where they want to be enrolled in, in our games. Mm. That's yeah. increasing the popularity of your games globally. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, uh, 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 as the Islamic Solidarity Games, I was expecting when you were naming the disciplines involved in, in, in which the candidates, the athletes, or the participants uh, will have to play. I didn't hear horse racing, which is, of course, one of the key sports mm. which is dominant of in course. Arab countries. Why is racing absent? Uh, the horse racing or uh, the dealing with horses, it's an Islamic, Islamic, uh, uh, what do you call it, Islamic be beverage. Mm -hmm. And the horse racing is very costly. So most of the countries, they cannot participate in, in, in the race, in the horse racing, uh, because of to, to move the, the horses from one country to another, this is a big story and, and this is very uh, costly and but it's very expensive. So we could not make any horse racing or, or horse activities. We call it the, like, like in, in 2005 in Saudi Arabia, mm. one of the, the game uh, was included in, 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 in the events is the horse jumping and it took place in, in Jeddah and it was a very successful one. Oh well, it, it can only take place in Saudi Arabia or Bahrain or yeah. or, or Qatar yeah. or, well, uh, well, uh, uh, think, or the uh, Emirates because, I think there because it is there a well-established uh, 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 beverage course. there like you of said. Of course, the equestrian, equestrian is very important for all the, the Islamic countries. Mm. You how what the organization of the Islamic uh, Solidarity Games from Saudi um, Arabia? Tell me, how is it organized? Well, uh, actually, we have the privilege of having this big organization in Saudi Arabia, and it was led by now His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Aziz bin Turk Al Faisal, and he is the president of the ISSF. He is the Minister of Sports in Saudi Arabia, and he is paying a really big attention for the Federation, and he is pushing very hard with all the administrative uh, capability and financial supports. Saudi Arabia is supporting the Federation from the, the start, from the beginning, from the establishment, 1980, uh, 1985, until now. And, and uh, uh, we are really pleased uh, and all the Islamic countries were very pleased to have it in Saudi Arabia. We are doing a great job. Uh, the, one of the main function of that federation is to collect all the Muslim youth and Muslim sportsmen in, in, uh, as a unity, as one country. And we are succeeded with that. and. Uh, throughout uh, either uh, not only the games, the game is only a single uh, issue in, 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 in the function of the federation or the, the uh, what you call it, the, the main objective of this uh, federation. Do, do, you, do, do you have the impression that the Islamic Solidarity Games has helped in one way or the other to foster the values of the uh, Islamic Cooperation Council uh, helping bridge um, ideological, cultural uh, differences between countries, peoples, especially the young people. Do you have that feeling? Well, uh, the legacy of the game is uh, very important for us. Uh, the game is not only uh, mainly for sport, actually. Mm. We're not only competing with, with the medals. The, the main function of the federation is, is to have the, the collective uh, culture from different Islamic countries. Uh, when they get 
together within any single events, they will show their culture, they will show their heritage, they will show their ability of uh, communicating with others. Uh, the, 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 the language is, is uh, one of main factors to, to, for those sportsmen to get together and to discuss a lot of things, uh, a lot of matters that uh, belong to the youth and sports in general. What are some of the things that bind you people in terms of rules that when you are participating in the Islamic uh, Solidarity Games, you are not authorized to do? In other words, what are they do and they do not when the competition is going on? We have to follow the Islamic rules within these games. Uh, participation has to be fair. Uh, it, it's uh, following with all the international regulations. Uh, there is no uh, objection of having any uh, single events will go beyond that. We are not uh, talking about politics or uh, any other aspects has nothing to do with the game or the values of the games. The values is set that everybody knows, you know, the Islamic values that, w that uh, we have to respect each other, we have to communicate, we have to have a mutual understanding between e each other, and we have to be fair and honest. Uh, and these values are an Islamic values. We have to set it in, in, in all, all, uh, all games. How are the games funded? Is it contribution from member countries or TV rights for broadcast or mm. there is a huge financial chunk from one of the richest countries of the Islamic Solidarity Games, Saudi Arabia? Mm. Um, the financial aspects is uh, one main factor in, in each uh, single games. But mostly the, the countries who is hosting the game, they will take care of all the facilities. The facilities maybe can get help with uh, in the Islamic uh, atmosphere either through the, the rich countries who's going to participate in, in these facilities, or maybe the big organizations, like the Islamic Organization Cooperation, or the Islamic Fund, or the Islamic Solidarity Bank. Uh, these bodies are a major uh, support financially within these aspects. Equity for, for development? Uh, the government is um, taking care of their own facilities. Okay. And as we are visiting His Excellency, the uh, Prime Minister here in Cameroon, uh, we have uh, discussing all these matters and we have put on his desk the, the need of an Olympic village uh, uh, some facilities, sport, uh, uh, sport halls, like swimming pool and gymnastic and uh, some uh, multi-purpose sport halls that to ne need that uh, to be needed for the games. And we are promised that, inshallah, they will do it. Uh, they will start it as soon as possible because uh, there is no time. It's going to take time for to build a new uh, min halls uh, and uh, we have seen a very enthusiastic from all aspects of uh, the government in, in Cameroon uh, we have met with the Minister of Sport, Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, the Mayor of uh, Yawandi and they all very active and supportive uh, and they promise us they will do their best, inshallah, for uh, Yawandi to be ready 
to uh, host the game in 2020. <laughs> Let me put this question to you, and probably most Cameroonians watching the interview will, will, will hold me responsible if I don't ask the question. Um, each time there is a competition involving FIFA, for example, um, the Federation of International Football Association that a country is hosting, maybe the World Cup, there is a lot of pressure on the country. Um, uh, the country just witnessed that during the Africa Cup of Nations organized by the Confederation of African uh, uh, f uh, the Confederation of African Football, um, CAF, um, the Islamic Solidarity Games Secretariat, to which you are heading as Secretary General, does it put the same amount of pressure on the organizing country, just like FIFA and CAF? Um, first, or La Francophonie first, Games first, or the Commonwealth Games, okay. which will be taking place in the United Kingdom of Great Britain okay. in, in July this year. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, we have to admit that Cameroon is one of the leading countries in football. Okay. And it's very, very, well, very well known. You okay. know. If you ask anybody in the Islamic world, what do you know about Cameroon, they will say the football, uh, Roger Mella or uh, Samuel Eto'o, Eto, uh, you know, those, Patrick the, Boma. those legends in, okay. in football. Mm. Uh, and you're organizing the, the last uh, football, uh, African football uh, game mm. in, in, in Cameroon was a very successful one. Uh, unfortunately, you lost the, the final match. But it is uh, football. Yeah, but we that's, are not obliged that's, to win that's the competition. <laughs> yeah, but inshallah, and I'm sure that you know the Islamic game will broaden the the image of Cameroon, not only for football but for all other games, and I'm sure they will they do their best to win this uh, championship in in Cameroon when they host it. And this is going to broaden their, the mind of the youth and uh, sportsmen in, in not just thinking of the football. Football is a very glamour game, very glamorous game. Uh, the legacy of the game is, is uh, amazing. The passions and yeah, emotions the, are coming from uh, all the directions. Of course, of oh, course. Sure. But uh, hopefully, inshallah, with the, the, our game, we'll, we'll have the same glamour, uh, you know within the, the facilities, the, the, the number of people who's participating, the, the activities, the cultural activities, which is going to be uh, surrounded by, by the games. And this is, I think, uh, going to be uh, the benefit of the game uh, for Cameroon. Oh, sure. Over the years, how many medals have you distributed, for example, or in a single competition, how many medals Mm. can be won, averagely? It uh, depends on the, the, the game itself. Okay. Each game has its own, the, its own medals. And the last one, how many medals were last won, The last one was in, in, in uh, Baku mm -hmm. in, Azerbaijan. in 2017 mm -hmm. in Azerbaijan. Mm. Uh, we have uh, working on, on uh, a book that has all the medals from the beginning of the games until now. Mm. And we just finish, finish it, we, are, we have published it, and it has all the medals for all single, every single country have their own medals, and how many medals they have, how many games they, they were in, how many medals in each game. So if you talk about uh, like last game, I think you're talking about um, uh, not less than 500 medals uh -huh. distributed by, uh, in, in various uh, single uh, events like the gold medal, the bronze medal, and, and the silver medals. Okay. Finally, um, how do you see the future of the Islamic uh, games? We are progressing from one game to another. If you have a chance to see the, the Baku games, you can see it on the internet. Maybe you, um, somebody will... I'm quite tech savvy, so I, yeah, I but, have an but, idea but, about but, that. Uh, yeah, but if somebody look at it, they will think of um, Olympic game or may, maybe better. Oh. In terms of the, the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony, and the events itself. So you're talking about a very high uh, range of uh, uh, competition. 
in terms uh, of quality? In terms of quality, in terms of uh, quantity, in, in all uh, in all terms. So you are projecting it as one of the biggest events in the years to come? Definitely, I'm sure. I'm sure and I hope that the next game in Cameroon will be one of the greatest. And we in Cameroon we trust, inshallah. Inshallah. The Secretary General of the Islamic Solidarity Games, Saudi born Mohammed Saleh Ar Ganas, thank you very much indeed for being thank guest you. on Global Watch. Shukra. Thank you for you personally. Thank you for the Cameroon National TV. Thank you for all the authorities in Cameroon, to start from His Excellency the President, all Prime the Minister, all the ministers, Olympic Committee of Cameroon, media who is playing a big role, and they will be, inshallah, will have a big role in, the, in this tournament. I thank you very much. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. Shukra. Thank you.